it's Lori Ballen here in Las Vegas, Nevada, specializing in the Summerlin area. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your marketing profile. So I did one of these videos uh, when I was first launching my KW Command YouTube channel. And now I want to make sure that it's updated and that you know how to find it because it's no longer on our home screen in an obvious location. Your marketing profile is going to be used for setting up your agent website, your smart plans, uh, design assets, so it's very important. And it can be edited, so I wanna show you where to set it up and where to edit your marketing profile. So up here, next to your picture, up in the right-hand corner, click that little arrow and go to Settings. Now under Settings, you're going to go down to connect settings and click marketing profile. Now here you can actually follow the instructions on this page. Pretty much will take you through everything that you need to do. Or you can click the marketing profile Kelly guide. And the Kelly guide is then going to walk you through setting up your profile and it will also take you into smart plans. But let's just go ahead and walk through this page so you can see how to do it. So first of all, you do want to make sure that use my information to brand my agent site is toggled on. There's an off and an on. And a lot of people have had problems when they've updated their website and then they leave and they come back in to edit again that their information disappears. And this has seemed to be one of the fixes is to make sure that your marketing profile is toggled on. Now, every time you set something up like an agent website and where it pulls from your marketing profile, you actually have the ability to edit information in there as well. You can change a profile picture, you can change a logo pic, team pics, things like that. So don't panic about any of this it's it's all editable okay but this is just a really best practice is to make sure that you come in and set this up so that it looks like how you want it to okay so you're going to upload your photo now your photo recommended size is 360 by 360. let me show you in case you want to remove the background i will show you a couple of ways to do that the first would be with Canva. So if you have Canva Pro already, all you're going to do is go to Create a Design, Custom Dimensions, 360 by 360 pixels. Then we're going to hit Create Design. And then you're going to upload a picture of yourself. In my case, I already have a folder with all of my pictures because I pretty much live in Canva. So let's just say I'm going to do this. I'm going to use that one. Drag it over to where it takes up the whole screen and let go. And then we want to remove the background. So I'm going to click the picture. I'm going to go up here to Effects, Background Remover. And that's going to remove the background. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Download. And I'm going to keep it in that PNG. Uh, image size and I'm going to load it with a transparent background because I don't want any background at all so I'm gonna I'm gonna say transparent background I just basically want this shape right and then click download and then you would save that as Lori headshot no background and let's optimize that for SEO Lori Ballen Realtor Las Vegas headshot, no background. And I'm going to save that to my images. Then over here in Connect Settings, you're going to go to Upload. And then there's the picture. And there you go. And it will replace it. Now, uh, let's see. The other, there's a couple other ways. Pick Monkey, if you have pink. Pick Monkey will do it. You can do it in Adobe. There's also a free website here called remove.bg. Now somebody brought up the point that it says in there this is not to be used for commercial use without paying for it. So you can look into that as much as you want. You can upload an image, remove the background, and download it for free. But there are terms of service that say 
it's only for personal use, okay? So something to keep in mind there, but this is really easy to do also. Okay, do the same thing with your logo. If you have a team logo, this is not the same as your DBA logo. Your DBA logo is your Keller Williams Realty Office logo. And you will also see where that shows up. But this is in case you have a team and you want to put a team logo up there, or you have a logo for yourself that you want to put up there. It doesn't have to be a team. You might have your own logo you put up there. Okay. So then your details, you're going to have your first name, your last name, your agent license number, your team if you have one, your professional job title, any designations that you might have, and then you're going to put in a bio. Now anytime you see this little I, you can hover over it and it gives you additional information. So it says this bio is going to be used when you're found in an agent search or on kw.com or your market center. So you'll be able to edit this as well when it comes up in your design assets where it'll pull from. You can edit it there. You're going to have your mobile phone with no dashes, your office phone with no dashes, fax number if you want to use one, your email and your website address. Now is where we put in our DBA logo. Now same thing here. It has to be in a JPEG or a ping format smaller than one megabyte in size and the recommended pixel is 360 by 360. So if you're using Canva you could do the same thing where you go in and you do 360 by 360 and you put your logo in there and you save it and upload it so it's the correct size. You're going to put your market center brokerage name, office phone, brokerage address, uh, city state zip, and the broker license number. Now here, this is a legal footer. This is anything that you would need to appear on the pages of your website. So you'll, my license is here because our board does require us to have a license. We're required to uh, state our brokerage office address. And so I put those all in there. Now I have also linked to uh, my privacy policy. You can add other links in that legal footer as well. So if you have an affiliate disclosure or, um, you know, you want to disclose that you have relationships with a mortgage company or uh, inspection or Keller mortgage or anything else like that, you can put that in there as well. So I've got mine linked to a, a privacy policy there. And then if you need any images in the legal footer or you want to put the equal opportunity employer or anything like that, you can upload that as well. Now here you notice it says we recommend a size of 128 by 48. So again, if you're using Canva, you just change your canvas to 128 by 48, create design. This will help you a lot with your images when you use correct sizing in the first place when you're uploading. That being said, many times you can upload a larger image and it will give you a cropping option and sometimes you can bring it down to the correct size. I try to start off as much as possible with the correct size. Then you can put in your Facebook URL, your Twitter URL, your Instagram URL, your YouTube URL, your LinkedIn URL. Okay, next you can install your Facebook Pixel. For some reason, um, I've noticed that not sticking and I don't know if that has been resolved yet or not. But you can take your Facebook pixel. Let's try the whole thing. And you would put that in there. Let me see. I'm going to click save and see if it saved it. Okay, it's in there for now. And then same with Google Analytics. Add Google Analytics to your website to track visitors and usage. So you want your tracking ID. I don't know if I have a note of mine. Let me see. Google Analytics. ID. Okay, did not make a note of it. So what you would do is you would go over to Google Analytics and you're going to set up your KW um, agent website in Google Analytics. So it'll be a site property. And I think I have it. Let's see here. 
So I'm going to go down to Vegas. All right, so if I had it in here, I don't know, I could have sworn I have it, but I may have to dig a little bit. Oh, there it is. Nope, I just saw it. No? Okay, anyway, it'll be, um, this is your tracking ID. See that UA dash number? That's the number that you're going to um, put in there. All right, I'll come back and find mine after because I, I do believe I already have it in there. And then I want to make sure I put in the correct, there it is. Okay, so let me grab, let me open this so I can copy that ID. Okay, so All right, I'm going to do it after the fact. So what we need to do is I need to go into my admin and just either write that down or just copy it down and enter it. All right, so then you're going to put that in to here, into this spot here. And then you have your branded KW app link. And this is, you can note this. I keep all this stuff in my Apple Notes just so I can quickly get to anything as I'm creating content or whatever. So there you go. There's my app URL text code. All right. So then I can quickly get to it. And that's it. That is all there is to it right now. Um, depending on when you watch this, there may be more things that they add later on. But as, uh, as of today, making this video, uh, spring of 2020, that's everything you need to set up your KW command marketing profile.